everyone. Welcome back. Sorry we missed last week, but I've got an exciting one for you. So I have been gifted this lovely puzzle from a smaller puzzle company, Wooden City, to review. And this is pretty exciting. It's actually coming at a really good time because Earth Day is coming up soon. And hey, I've never really done a wooden puzzle before. So this is going to be interesting for a couple reasons. Let's get into this thing and find out what it's all about. Hey everyone! Alright, so today I have another review puzzle for you guys, but not just any review puzzle. This is also going to be pretty much my first wooden puzzle ever. And I say pretty much because I have done one in the past by bits and pieces that was made out of wood, but I expect this to be a different animal altogether because I expect these pieces to be pretty solid and kind of like the Unidragon puzzles with the weird shapes and everything that are becoming really, really popular right now. Uh, this puzzle was gifted to me by Wooden City. They are a smaller European puzzle company, but not just puzzles. Honestly, like you guys, I'll leave a link in the description. Seriously, look at some of the things these people build. They make wooden models too, and they're actually, like, they're paintable. Some of the parts actually move. These things are really intricate. That is not something I could ever build personally. It would, it would go the way of the, you know, you know, the car. <laughs> um, definitely a Casey type project with like precision and patience and all that kind of stuff. However, they do also make puzzles. Um, and I'm really interested. I was so curious when this showed up because this was not what I was expecting. The package arrived and I unboxed it and I'm like, oh, this is exciting. I'm so excited to see my first wooden puzzle. This is a unique box. I have never seen a puzzle come in a box with like just the corrugated cardboard and all that. The, these guys are obviously a very environmental friendly puzzle company, um, which makes it very interesting because Earth Day is coming up soon. Uh, if any of you guys do the whole hour with no power, that kind of thing, like I remember doing in school. I, if I'm being honest, I have not done that since we were in school, but I like the premise of it. I think it's neat. Um, so right on the very tip top here, they have the whole say no to plastic thing. So. I haven't actually cracked this open. You have no idea how much I wanted to. I want to know what these pieces are going to look like. I was good. I d don't throw the knife at me. That's it. I thought I was going to lose an eye. Um, ah. um, I was good. I did not crack it open. There were a couple times when I was like, I just want to have a little peeky peek. But I didn't. I was good. I promise. Um, so the whole outside is complete corrugated cardboard. It's just got a little wrap around, honestly, for the puzzle picture, which I think is pretty neat. So I am expecting these pieces to be a little thicker, but, 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 the cool stuff doesn't stop there because, da, 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 this is a puzzle with unique puzzle pieces. So this is going to be like that cork puzzle that I did back in the day, the cool, weird, rare one with the creepy, frankly, face that a friend gifted me that, but. The fact that it was made out of cork and with the unique shapes, it made for a hard, challenging puzzle that I actually really enjoyed. And I mean, not my kind, not my typical kind of art style, but I really liked the puzzle itself. Um, so I'm excited. It has got apparently 100 unique shapes in it. So it'll be kind of like the dragon puzzle. They'll be worked in and all that good stuff. It should be a rectangular puzzle when it's finished, um, with just the weird shapes in it. And it is a thousand pieces, which really stood out to me. I was really surprised that they let me pick this one because all the wooden puzzles I've ever seen are like 500 and under pieces. So frankly, this is like, this is a huge treat. Let's crack it open. I fully expect they're rattling around pretty good in there. If they're this environmentally conscious, I don't think they'll be in any kind of plastic bag. I wonder if there will be a way to contain the pieces. Um, so let us find out. Da, 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 da. I finally get to see what's inside. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's a cool idea. The plastic, the paper bag instead. Yes, I know. I just messed up the word. Don't make fun of me. Um, okay, so that's better than I was expecting. At least the pieces are contained. It's got a piece of tape preventing the, um, the bag from opening up, which is pretty good. And uh, let's see here. Oh, no. Well. All right, so for anyone that prefers the full poster size thing for their puzzle, be aware it is just a smaller little image of the puzzle. But honestly, for, for my purposes, that's that's more than okay. Um, and honestly, that is all that is in the box. So very cut and dry, right to the point. 
Um, I, honestly, I think it's a neat premise. I think it's a cool idea to not have a plastic bag that we frankly just throw out. Um, yeah, so I, I kind of like that. I like that, the whole purpose of that. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah. Holy crap. Tiny pieces. Oh my goodness. I was not, they're as thick as I was expecting. But good lord, some of those are tiny and teeny, teeny, tiny. Holy smokes. Oh my goodness. How do they go and cut that? So they, we get a little castle moat like thing there. That's a unique shape right off the hop. Um, don't know what that is, but it's a unique shape. Hey, hey, look, we got a crown. That's cool. We got a fishy. So, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's weird lines on them. That are not part of the puzzle. Or are they? No, 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 no. Like, you've got the puzzle image, and, like, and this is meant to be in the shape of, like, a house or a castle or something, and it's got little black lines kind of drawing the windows and stuff on top of it. Mm -hmm. Neat, but I, I wonder if it'll take away from the image of the puzzle itself when it's all complete. I mean, it's a cool idea. It gives a texture. That's pretty cool. That looks like a motorcycle. There's a piece for you. You like motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's another motorcycle. It's like they made this puzzle for you. I would not <laughs> be doing that puzzle. Well, we would be here until the end of time if you no, were doing the puzzle. The the earth, would, if, if we're talking earth friendly, the earth would die before you finish this puzzle. <laughs> All righty. Um, I don't know that I would reuse this bag to put the puzzle back in. Again, I do like the idea. It's a little long though, I would say. It just feels a little like the never ending story where like I can't get to my pieces. If it was smaller, like if it ended right about say there, I think it would be perfect and ideal. But otherwise, again, I really like the premise. I really like the idea behind it. I think it's cool. In the box you go. Down here, hmm. and my little map. Um, before I start, might as well do a close up on the pieces so we can really show people. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Close up cam, come. Oh no, stuck. 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 <laughs> Unstuck. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Oh, you gotta pull down everything. <laughs> Tabs you on the floor. <laughs> That'd be funny. Mm. Well, they were. Mm. Wow, well, don't want the <laughs> charges. <for that. laughs> um, that's fine. I can play. See now. Let me unplug you and plug you back in. Choppy. Some pieces out here for people to see. It's a little. That's okay. Choppy. All right. All right, you guys. So here are the puzzle pieces itself. I'm just trying not to move it too much because it's there's a delay yeah it's like lagging all righty and there is the little map of the puzzle um pretty much handheld size pretty small in general but hey again for my purposes more than okay for those that like to see fine details maybe not your cup of tea so as you can see here are some of the pieces they're pretty tiny honestly they were smaller than i was expecting um each piece is pretty much as big as the end of my finger which is teensy eensy. They are as thick as I was expecting, which I'm excited about. They've got this unique pattern on the back side. That's pretty cool. So those are the regular pieces. Here's an example of some of the unique shapes that are in the puzzle, which I'm really excited about. So here is the thing, and it's meant to look like a little house. As you can see, there's those black lines on it to give it kind of texture and detail. I think the idea is cool. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out in the big puzzle as like in the whole puzzle as a whole if it takes away or distracts from the big imp from the full complete image of the puzzle. We got another shape here. We got a fishy shape. Yeah, lots of interesting things. These teeny tiny pieces are going to be the death of me. But hey, I figured this would be a pretty challenging puzzle, so let's jump into it. It's going to be interesting to try to sort out the edge pieces for this because they're all going to be wonky to accommodate for the unique shapes. Interesting. 
it's already kind of throwing my eye off and how I would normally sort for color with all the unique shapes and I'm drawn to it like, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> There's an interesting one. This is literally shaped in a rectangle. Huh. Uh, yes, certain at an edge is going to be a challenge. I wonder if that's actually maybe not the best way to proceed with this puzzle then because of that. So what do I got? It's a very, very busy puzzle in general. Hmm. I will say harder to do my normal sorting method with a wooden puzzle is my first impression right off the hop. It's not as easy to flip quickly and pie and heap as I do the pieces off to the side slash hold them in my hand and keep them all right side up like with the regular pieces. Not saying it's a bad thing, but it is a comment that that's uh, I'm going to have to adjust how I usually work. Yeah, these different pieces are going to make things interesting. This is like a bits and pieces puzzle where literally any of the pieces could be an edge piece. Is it? Isn't it? I don't know. It's also possible I'm having trouble flipping them because piece is very little and max very clumsy. <laughs> going to make things interesting. Uh, it was one thing I've been wondering from the start. Some of these unique shapes have a very flat edge to them, and it makes me wonder if they're part of the border at all in some way. I'm already seeing some different cut, I think. Could be wrong. This is all hunches and guesses and stuff. This is a bit of uncharted territory. Um, but I'm already seeing some pieces that look like they may interlock to the unique shapes. Since this is a, a thousand piece puzzle, um, and normally you're about two and a half hours ish, how it'll, long do you think it'll take you for this one? It's going to be longer. Um, the little pieces are already going to make it take take a lot longer. Which I, the more I think about it, I think they're so small to keep costs down because it's already so expensive to make the puzzle on the wood. I imagine like the more material they're going to use, the more the cost would go up. Um, and just the fact that I can't stack the pieces quite as well and go with my normal, my normal process, it's going to make things interesting. It's going to definitely take longer. Um, I'd say closer to three hours, I think, for this guy. There's also a really high level of detail in, um, just in the finished picture itself. And the little lines, whether or not they take away from the finished project, I will tell you they're very distracting when you're sorting. You're, uh, my eye's very drawn to them, and I'm like, what? Why? Oh, okay, no, that's not the back, that's the front. actually start with the macaws though. If those are macaws, I'm calling them macaws. <laughs> there may be someone out there on the internet screaming at me, that's the wrong kind of parrot. Which one? Oh, not you. Oh, in my head I am. Oh. Internally I'm crying. Oh. I'm going to be really interested to see how the pieces click together. Like this is, this is part of
part of the reason why I'm grabbing them because they're colorful and they'll be super easy to get a few pieces so I will be able to satisfy my curiosity faster. Okay, everyone, so y'all know me and I can't stick to a plan that I make to save my life when I'm doing a puzzle. I did not build a parrot. I built a tiger instead. Um, and I can honestly say, I will show you guys what I mean with a close-up cam. This, is, it, this will be a hard puzzle. Um, it, it's, I'm already accidentally flipping some of the pieces over as I touch them only because they are so small um, and I can't stack them like I normally do. That's just, it, that's just me getting used to the wood medium as a whole. Um, I, I don't have anything bad to say about it, in all honesty. I kind of like the idea of a wooden puzzle. I will say, with the unique shapes and the high piece count, this may, and it may change as I build more into the puzzle to kind of give it more to grab onto, but the tiger's a little wiggly jiggly. And that's, I think, because... The official, um... Yes, the official term. <laughs> yes. Yes, wiggly jiggly can be the official term. Um, and I think that's just because the unique shapes, there's not as much to interlock into. So we'll see what happens as I build around it, but I'll kind of show you what I mean. If someone cooperates. Okay. Here we have a tiger. Um, the pieces that do have ends to them, they click together pretty well. I will say the unique shapes make for a challenge, but as you can see, when I move it, it comes a little bit apart, wiggly jiggly, but again, that's just because I don't have like around the whole unique shape built and we're already into another unique shape here and another unique shape over here. I think as I build more around it, that problem should go away a little bit. But other than that, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, definitely a hard puzzle though. Uh, the, all the shapes, the weird wonky background actually on the back of the pieces is really throwing me for a loop. I don't realize right away sometimes when a piece is flipped over on its backside because the pieces aren't stacked like normal. So it's kind of, it's throwing me off. I catch myself and I'm like, oh wait a minute, that's the backside. Huh, silly. <laughs> Yeah, you would hate this puzzle. Yes. I think it would. I think it would overload you. You would look at it and like, I don't know what to do. That's that. <laughs> too many different shape pieces. Too many. Too many little pieces. You would probably have more patience for the little pieces than me, mind than um, me, mind you. But I think the weird shapes and have like having to look at all of this because the, you can't really well I mean actually maybe laying them out would help you more but frankly for me it's throwing me off a little but I can see this being a very overwhelming puzzle I'm starting to see why it is that most wooden puzzles are smaller piece counts yeah Well, that and I kind of wonder if, um, if because there are so many unique shapes, mm -hmm. that's making it harder because the, like it, like I said, there's less for it to hang on to as you complete it. So it's, it's harder to actually move the pieces around. And they're teensy eensy, especially with this level of detail.
We're good, we're back. Hooray. Okay. Hey everyone! Alright, so, y'all are in for a bit of a surprise with this puzzle. Um, I did have to do a lot of it off camera so far, um, so there won't be as much time lapse or seeing of the puzzle itself actually completed. Uh, had nothing to do with the puzzle itself or anything like that. As you can probably tell, I've changed my shirt like three times now. Like three or four days have been now passed. Uh, we're surprisingly busy in the store. Um, so it just became hard to get the footage of the puzzle being done actually recorded. I do have lots to say about this one. Um, it will be interesting to show you once it's complete. It's, uh, I did want to show you how fragile it is. You guys might get a pretty good sense of that as I'm putting it together. But uh, it's actually so fragile, I think, that if I try to move some of the pieces, it's going to undo more than it's going to do. Um, so I will wait to show you that until the whole puzzle is complete. I will say I'm enjoying it. I really like it. It's, um, I would have assumed with this kind of problem that I'm, I would have been a little frustrated, but I think it's with the difference in the medium that I kind of understand it a little bit better. Anyways, I'm going to get back into putting it together so you guys can see how some of it's been coming together. Um, how, as Casey called it, the confetti is now starting to look like a real puzzle. Woo! Almost done. Almost done. <laughs> Almost there.
Yeah, I don't know, your chair kind of fell when I sat in them. Like, oh, you break things. <laughs> no more touchy. Oh my god! to say I did enjoy it I will start by saying that um, but before I flip too much to oh, the, tic the talkie it. camera um, I, that's part of what I'm gonna do oh. I want to flip it back to the um, oh. to the other camera in a moment here um, before I get too much into the talking about it though I really want to show you guys just how fragile this puzzle is so part of my frustration with it was um, if this had been made out of regular puzzle material and it was this wobbly. I would have gotten the garbage can from <laughs> outside. I would have brought it in here and y'all would watch me throw this puzzle away. Um, I actually wasn't that frustrated with it. And I don't know if it was the difference in medium or if the, that made me a little more understanding to it. Because the more I think about it, the more I think that this was kind of intentional. But let me show you what I mean. Okay, so... You have the puzzle here. I've squished it together as much as I can. Every time you move it, I don't know if, I, I think it's a combination of the weird shapes, how small the pieces are, and um, as well as the medium itself being wood, how easy it is for them all to break apart. And we can do that again with the close-up cam as well. Uh, so you guys can see it a little bit better. Oh, they did not want to speak to us. <laughs> I'll squish, the, I'll squish the puzzle together. Okay, that's rude. What do you, there we go. I was just squishing the puzzle together, that's all, right. all. I'm ready. All right, you guys, so here we have the full complete puzzle. I, again, have squished it together as best as I can. Now here's what happens when I try and move it. You see how all the piece space is coming? You can really see it. Um, it's easy to see here with the elephant and how wiggly that is. That came into play trying to put it together uh, and it is very easy to break apart the pieces like for example let me do that again where y'all can see it if I lift this piece up look at how fragile that is and it's like don't look at it don't breathe it, it don't breathe on it it's fragile uh, let's flip back to the other camera I guess or I can show them I can show them a brief might as well see the pretty puzzle it's got a lot of detail, I must say. Like, it's really pretty. They did a really good job of translating the image onto the wood. It turns out beautiful. And you don't even hardly notice those little lines in the unique shapes. You really don't. Like, once it's all together as a full puzzle, you don't even hardly notice. Gorgeous. My favorite is the little pandas. I like the little pandas. There's also another one up here in China y'all can see he's just chilling out munching on his bamboo he's adorable I like pandas a lot 
All right, let's move back. All right, you guys, so feedback. First and foremost, I did like this puzzle. I did. There were a few frustrations with it, but all in all, I did enjoy it. I'm glad I got to try it. Like I said in the intro, this was my first time experiencing a wooden puzzle like this. Um, uh, let me get the box again here for you guys. So again, guys, it was made by Wooden City, um, and they're, they're, they gave this puzzle to me and just asked if I would give it a quick review. It comes with all the unique little shapes, as well as all regular ones. Well, pretty much every piece in this puzzle is a unique shape, realistically, but it comes with those cool little shapey ones. I've only ever done a flat wooden puzzle before that truthfully fit together very well, but that also caused complications of its own because if you say misplaced a piece, you put the piece in the wrong home and you wanted to take it out, that can cause a little bit of damage to the puzzle itself, I find. So part of the reason that I was not as frustrated as I would have been with normal pieces with the fact that it was wiggly is because I, I can actually appreciate why it is that it's so fragile. I don't think you would necessarily want the pieces to fit together super tight when they're made out of wood like this because you would have a really hard time ever getting them apart again. Um, so whether you wanted to do this puzzle again, re-gift it, maybe you want to hang it on your wall, that's a possibility too. Um, if they fit together super tightly, it would be very hard to get them apart again. So part of what, like I, that, that kind of contributed to, eh, as annoying as it is that you got to be very careful putting this together, I can appreciate why it is. Now, yeah. hmm? sorry, is on the, on the picture, Hmm? Is there a, is the pattern on the picture? If you flip this side, right. is there another? Is there, is there, okay, because it says it's two and one. So if it's two and one, so the other side of maybe it's a harder puzzle to do. It's this weird pattern. back pattern. Yeah. That's what I mean, but it was, there's no picture nope. for it. No. Nope. So I wonder if that makes it like, here's an easy one, and with no reference, the other flip side doing it on the flip side. It it would be like doing a crepe puzzle, but it would be very hard. That would be. True, really? This was hard as it was. I mean, I know we had to do a lot of it off camera and all that, but because it's wiggly, that changes the shape of the hole that you're looking for every time. So it can be kind of hard to tell what shape you're looking well, that's for. Well, I'm saying, like, in this, because it says it's two and one, would this be your standard? And then if you attempted the other side, now that's like expert hard level. You would just be there forever. No. You, you would be, it would take a long time because there's not one normal shape in this puzzle, you guys. And that could be partially because there are so many unique shapes in it, which I did think was cool. So that's part, probably the other reason why this is such a fragile, wiggly puzzle, because there are so many unique shapes. They're really cool. They really are. And I was really worried that those black lines that they put in them were going to make it, like, to take away from the final finished image, but they really don't. So that was a good thing. I'm glad that I got to see that take away. Um, the unique shapes, they do make it, I think, so the pieces can't interlock as well. Uh, but again, I kind of understood why that was. Please do be aware, though, if you ever attempt a puzzle like this, it will be difficult with changing the sh with the changing shapes and everything. And the microscopic pieces. The size of the pieces itself made this puzzle very difficult. You were working with little pieces. There was one point I was convinced I was missing a piece. Uh, and it was just two wee little shapes that needed to be joined together to make the piece that I thought was missing. So that does make it a pretty big challenge. Um, again, the image. I can't argue with the image. That turned out better than I ever would have thought. That is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I, like I, I'm in love with it. I love the little hills. They're adorable. I'm so glad I got the chance to build it. They, they're not for me, but I would be interested to see what their 3D models are like. They, I imagine they're very complex, very hard to build. That's more of a Casey project than me. I don't have the patience for that. Um, but I do think that they're really unique and cool. My biggest takeaway, I can see why wooden, pu wooden piece puzzles have so few pieces. I've always wondered, like, why are these things like two and three hundred pieces? Why? I think it's to make them fit together better. Um, this is one of the rare thousand piece wooden puzzles I saw. And to be honest, when they reached out about a collaboration, I was so surprised to see that they make thousand piece ones. So surprised. I totally understand now why most of them are lower piece counts. And if I was to ever attempt a wooden puzzle again, I would, I really do want to try a lower piece count one. I want to know if it's different. Is it the same? Like this was a really good experiment. 
I don't know if I would ever do another thousand piece one. I think I would just for the challenge of it. Um, like I said, didn't get uh, frustrated with the wiggly jiggliness like I would have with a normal piece puzzle. If this was made out of normal material, garbage, 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 straight up garbage, don't buy it. This, um, I wouldn't say don't buy it. I wouldn't say that at all. Just buyer beware, I think. Buyer beware that this is what you're getting into, that you're not looking for traditional snug fit homes. Um, it is <laughs> curious because you've only done one other wooden puzzle. I wonder if this is very much on par with, with what e everything every else is. Other, well, and that's why ones. I would like to do one with less pieces. Is it the fact that you're trying to fit so many unique shapes? They're just not being able to lock properly. Yeah. Because I just wonder if this is like, oh no, this is how all, all of them are. are. Yeah. Like having no idea what I was going into, I, it was harder than I thought it would be. It was. I definitely took way longer than I thought. It's really hard to tell because of how much stopping and starting we had to do. I'd probably say I was upwards of four or five, six hours maybe by the time. To, uh, I didn't really, we, didn't get I, really it, we, we couldn't really time it. Uh, I would say I would do it again. I would do this again on my own time. Totally. I had enough fun with it that I would do this again. Um, I really like their environmentally friendly premise. All in all, an overall positive note. Um, it, it's, I mean, really, like you were saying, it, it's really hard for me to compare if this is outstanding quality for a wooden puzzle or this is garbage, don't buy it, because I've never done one. So in that sense, it's really hard for me to rate. I haven't been doing wooden puzzles all my life, so it's, it's hard for me to put it on the spectrum of, it's like Ravensburger and it's the best. It's like, you know, they're, they're the cream of the crop of the puzzle world. Um, for my own personal experience, I would say like a 7 out of 10. I would think I would think they're probably up there just because well, just all the, the amount they're putting in, so you would like think they wouldn't they would do some. And the fact that they have so many, they have a huge selection of wooden puzzles. Like I imagine at this point, they're popular enough, and, and they the, know what they're doing. The box is corrugated. Yeah, like they they cardboard. they've put effort into their product. They're, you're getting, I mean, the, the 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 picture quality I think looks great. Oh yeah, they did a great job and with the, that. And the the whole image, I mean, there, that, there's that one world's largest new puzzle that is a animal map thing with a life form mm. where it's not a pat you know what I mean it's not a pattern like this which makes sense mm. it's just cut out things p pictures yeah which is like you put all that effort into the world's largest puzzle <laughs> and you put zero effort into the picture the of the pictures. puzzle yeah 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 like I I like the image the image is 10 out of 10 it's uh yeah I wonder if it's yeah. the, the unique shapes that just don't let it lock in properly mm-hmm and that's, I think that's just something that it would have to be try a couple different piece counts, try a couple different brands sort of yeah. thing to really know if that's just the standard or if that's unique to the piece count. Um, but all in all, yeah, I would recommend this. I would totally recommend it. Again, I think it's just a situation of beware of what you're getting into. And that's, that's where something like this is kind of beneficial because I wouldn't have known any of this walking into it. I would have just assumed that it's like a normal puzzle. Uh, so it is good to know. I'm glad I know it. Uh, and hopefully this helped you guys out as well too. Please also be aware that they are fairly expensive. They're definitely, if you're expecting the price point of a normal puzzle, they are significantly higher. Again, wood's, wood isn't cardboard. It's just, uh, you're paying for the material, you are. And you're getting something that I honestly think will stand up to the test of time and be more durable than a normal puzzle. If I take this apart, I mean, sometimes when you take a cardboard puzzle apart, even if you're so gentle with it, sometimes you do bend the pieces and stuff. That's not going to happen here. You're not going to damage the image. You're not going to damage the pieces. So that part of it, you are getting your money's worth out of this. All in all, I would recommend it. I would totally do another one. I will redo this one on my own time. I would, at some point, when I can, definitely reorder another one of theirs, try different piece counts and all that. Like it's, um, it's been an overall positive experience. Like I said, hard to grade, but I think I would put it at a 7 or 8 out of 10. All right. I don't have anything more to say to you. Do you have any questions, comments, concerns? Well, I think, I think, I, think I think I got it all out. On the back side. <laughs> on the back side. You do it on the back side. Right. <laughs> I don't okay. get time for uh, It would be interesting. It would be hard. <laughs> Oh, and it does tell you a little bit of it, like it names some of the animals off on the edge. I thought that was cool too. Oh, that's just a cool little FYI. But yeah, picture quality is amazing. I think piece quality is pretty good. Hard to compare, but I think it was good. Um, and I would do it again. 
Um, and do not forget to check out Wooden City. I will leave their link in the description. Uh, even if you don't intend on getting one yourself, honestly, check out some of their models that they have. Holy smokes, those things are intense. Like, intense. We'll leave the link in the description for their website. I'll leave a link on my Instagram as well, too, when this video goes up. I'll make a post about it and all that good stuff. Thank y'all for hanging out, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next time, guys.